Welcome back. This is Swift Passage. Thanks for all you new subscribers out there. Thank you. This is God's holy channel. This is God's holy channel. Um, I thank you for tuning in here. Um, this is all God. This is for God. This is about God. This is a love of God. This channel. Um, I, I receive messages and um, I get confirmations for these messages. I upload them on this channel. Um, I've got a uh, message from May 11th. I received it 10 a.m. in the morning. Tell my people, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Tell my people to be ready at all times to meet their Maker. My son, I am coming for a pure and holy bride. Tell them what is manifesting in the Spirit is shown forth in the natural now. Tell them I am the great I am. I rule and reign over all people, kindred, and tongues. Tell them to be ready and stay ready when the trumpet sounds. They will immediately be in my presence. My son, the world doesn't realize my powers. I can move mountains with my breath. I can holler and cause thunder and lightning. I am he who will raise the dead and bring back life into their nostrils. I am he who created all things, and I will destroy all things and restore back my land, my heritage, Israel. Shalom, my bride. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I received that message. I also got um, a message from the Lord. Uh, there's something going on on YouTube about that the Lord is already uh, raising people from the dead. That is false. If you're watching this channel, these channels that are saying this, it is false. The Lord has not risen anyone from the dead yet. Um, please, people, don't be deceived by the enemy. I know there's people that are sub to this channel that are watching these channels and and commenting about uh, these things. It is false. This is of the enemy, lies of Satan. There are lots of, the Lord told me treachery. The Lord told me treachery is really going on right now. To not be deceived. It is tricks of the enemy. The devil is slick. The devil is slick. No one has been risen from the dead yet. When the trumpet sounds, it will begin. Not before. The Lord's very displeased with these people and they're going to be held accountable for this. I'm just the messenger for the Lord. Um, you know, I'm, I'm putting this message out. Please, guys, don't be deceived. And listen to the channels that are telling you the, ra the dead are already being raised. It is false. Um, I received... Uh, the Lord told me to read Zephaniah 1, verse 18. Zephaniah 1, verse 18. King James Version Bible. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. This is during the tribulation, guys. This is during the tribulation. The Lord also told me on um, 
He has been warning people through fires and floods around the world, fires and floods. And he says, these people are not listening to me. I am speaking to many about turning from their evil ways and repenting and turn, turning from the evil ways and wickedness, but they will not turn to me. I am warning many through fires and floods. This is a precursor before the judgment on America and the world, people. Wake up. If you're not saved and born again, today is a day of salvation. No one is promised tomorrow. Listen, the enemy is showing his face more and more. The enemy is showing more and more daily now. The signs of the times are everywhere. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords is getting ready to come, guys. And I've blocked many mockers and scoffers in the last week. Probably 30 or more that came at me and, and told me horrible things and even uh, wished death on me. What a horrible thing. You know, I re uh, you know, you have to report these things, but, you know, um, I'm praying for those people. I'm praying for them to know the truth. And they will probably know the truth in the tribulation. But listen, the time is drawing near. Don't let the enemy deceive you. The devil is slick. Don't let the enemy deceive you. When the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ will rise. The dead in Christ has not risen yet. And you know what? I The Lord told me to not name the channel, but you know who you are. And the Lord is going to... Um, Lord is going to uh, hold you accountable. It's lies of Satan. I rebuke all lies and Satan uh, from this deception, this evil deception that's going on. Man, I'll tell you, um, the devil is really deceiving many now. And people are falling for the lies, the lies of the enemy. We need to pray, guys, for the Christians in Pakistan. Jeff, in Pakistan, we're hearing reports of an entire community of Christians under threat because one man is accused of violating blasphemy laws. Is this common? Oh my gosh, yes. It happens all the time. And again, of course, the press doesn't report on it, right? So uh, I think it was last year, possibly the year before, but there was a couple that was accused of, of blasphemy, meaning that they accidentally burned some pages with, you know, with a foreign language that they don't understand. And what it was said was that this was a cram. Well, these people, they were beaten, and then they were burned alive. Uh, that's just one example. It's happening all the time. There's many people imprisoned, essentially, for life or for very long uh, prison sentences. Um, when they get out, if they're released from the prison, when their case gets to the high court, you know, they're shells of their former self, and they wear a, a scarlet letter on their chest for the rest of their lives, and they're always on the run because they are a blasphemer. It's one of the worst things that can you could be labeled. Uh, but these cases are going on all the time, absolutely. Tell us about these blasphemy laws. Why do they carry the death penalty? Um, it's just seen as so egregious. It's, it's Islam. It's written within the code of Islam. And so fundamentalists have a very strong voice in Pakistan. Uh, so, you know, these cases, when they, uh, basically, there, there's no justice in this case. If it makes it where there's an FIR filed, if there's a case filed, Basically, that person is stuck, and they're going to move through the judicial system at a slow pace. Uh, basically, because Pakistan is a very fundamentalist uh, Muslim country, and so their case, they won't get released until their case gets to the high court. Uh, and even in some cases, when they're when they're when the case is political in nature, they get stuck longer. Like Casey Bibi, she should have been released, but she's become so high profile that the radicals in the country demand that she stay in. And so we're waiting to uh, and hopefully she'll be released, but. It's unfortunately they, they suffer very long prison sentences. What about the Pakistani officials? Why don't they protect the Christians? Well, the Pakistani officials, you know, they're politicians, right? So unfortunately, they can only step out so far. Now, most, uh, you know, many of the leadership in Pakistan is in Pakistan is tolerant. They're Western educated. 
Uh, but literally, look, I can't watch any more of that. Listen, we need to pray for the Christians in Pakistan. They're told either to convert to Islam or die. We need to pray for the Christians. You guys, just because persecution hasn't come to the United States yet, doesn't mean it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner. We're, we're running out of time, you guys. If you can get through to people that don't know Christ, that would be awesome. If you're watching this channel for the first time and you don't know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, say this prayer with me. Father, I know I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I ask that you come into my heart and my life. Wash me clean in your precious anointed blood. I want to be saved by grace through faith in you, Lord. Amen. If you meant it with all your heart and soul, and you are saved and born again, sealed by God until the day of redemption. You know, our redemption is near. The Lord told me this. Our redemption is near. All, who, all you that are not saved and watching this channel, if you need to email me, you can email me at dvargus, V-A-R-G-U-S 25, at gmail.com, dvargus, d-v-a-r-g-u-s 25 at gmail.com. And I will pray with you, um, whatever your needs are. Um. All the, the, the judgment is coming down for the people of the world that don't want to accept Jesus as his Lord, their Lord and Savior and turn from their wicked ways. See, the, the problem is the Lord showed me, I was watching a newscast of a woman that was saying, they wouldn't let me go back to my house in Canada in the fires. They wouldn't let me go back to get my things. I've, I've lost everything. I've lost everything. And she was so devastated. And the Lord spoke to me immediately when I was watching that. And he says, I'm warning these people. All material things will be destroyed by fire. I'm trying to get these people to turn to me and turn from their wicked ways. Because this is worldly possessions. And they are all going to be destroyed by fire. It doesn't matter what you have, or what what belongings, what cars, what vehicles, what houses you have. They are all going to be destroyed by fire. So turn your life to Christ today. Islam, Buddha, none of those will get you into the kingdom of God. It's only through the blood of Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Stay blessed, you guys. Stay encouraged. We are going home to be with the king. Shalom.